How are we doing, Noddy? Yeah, she's all clear. All clear, boss. Tui, ready. Me, ready, boss. Let's go. Should. Where is he? Oh, how would I bloody know? We haven't seen our boy for four months. Did you animals have been after him? Couldn't even set foot in their own friggin' house. Cut the crap. We know Johnny was here two yeah, days ago. Yes. Yeah, that Molly called a girlfriend. Told you that, did she? Yeah. Hey, you leave him alone. And Ron, you shut. Shut up. Lay up. At you. Shut I'll up. Shut it for you. Why don't you do the boys a favour and put a stop to it? Tell me the bloody scum like you. That'll be the day. Just so you can put a bullet to him. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Just give him a chance. We got people looking after us. We got rights, you know, Brennan. Red Commodore Registration Charlie Tango Lima 573. Spotted leaving the scene northbound Grange Road. Two heads on board. Mail. Caucasian. Flying danger flags approach with extreme caution. Well, what would you think? I, I mean, a gorilla? No, I was just coming back with the lunch. I, I thought it was a, a singing telegram or something. I noticed the shoes. He jumped on the desk. He was wearing runners. Reebok. Just the shoes. I joggled with him. So how close a look did you get? As close as you are. It was pointed right at me. Can you describe it? Short barrel, long barrel? Short. Sort of short and chunky. Constable, can I have a look at your gun for a minute? Thank you. It's unloaded. Back up. Like that? Hold it back. Yeah, that's it. Exactly like that. Thank you. What do you reckon? It's them all right. But we're pretty sure it's the blokes we're after. Yeah, well, what's the score? Is this your investigation or ours? We'd appreciate your assistance. What are we looking for? Specifically, 38 calibre, police issue. Yeah. Any idea what we're doing? Yeah, we're maintaining the status quo, Rocket. We do all the hard yakka, they get the glory. Who's in charge here? We're not ready for you, Blake Shaw. Oh, is that a fact? Uh, I don't know why you called us out here at all. You got a problem? Hell no, there's only 15 people wandering all over the scene. I mean, it's hopelessly contaminated. Whatever was there is not there now. I mean, what could possibly be a problem? Who is this prick? A public service prick, Mr. Brennan. Explain the facts of life to him. He wants me to explain police procedure to you, boss. Go ahead. I'd like to hear piss off explained in depth.
Altona. Two minutes, two bloody minutes is all it took him. Yeah, he's getting a bit good, isn't he? Yeah, it's too good. It's a bloody embarrassment, a little shithead like Johnny pissing all over us. I'll have him just for that. Oh, now, now, boss. Just because he's an evil, guilty snot doesn't mean we can persecute him, you know? Persecute him or do him for the life. <laughs> if his mum doesn't get you first. There she goes. Zap. A fat Alice. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> How'd you like to screw that, boss? <laughs> Did they at any stage identify themselves as a police, Mrs Mercer? Oh, no, they never. They never said nothing. Just lie down on the floor and don't you move. Oh, we didn't know who they were or, or, or what was going on. I was too scared even to open my mouth. You think she knows where he is? So what she does, those boys don't scratch without telling Mum. I believe so. Did it's a mandatory procedure for police to identify themselves? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Major crime. The well, the Mercers claim that this wasn't the case. Oh, I should yeah, be unlikely. Yeah, I've no yeah, well. this day. Oh, it's not now. I'm in the middle of something. I already said you and the kids could take whatever you want. Take the lot. Wally, come on, mate. You're going to be better than that. Do you want to sell the house? Thank you, mate, for all you. Yeah, later. <laughs> Six hour rule reinstated. Police fury. <laughs> Major you crime. That, Sergeant? Yeah, yeah, we know him. He's a good one. <laughs> yeah, we can get him to I'm not saying back off. I'm saying we have to cover the ground with a little more delicacy. What the hell does that mean? Uh, Keep your bloody hands off the Mercers. Unless you're damn sure of your information. Catch them, but don't upset them. That's even bigger bullshit than this. I know, but that's my instructions from upstairs. They're a little concerned we're looking like thugs. He's gone too far, Wall, pinching police guns, two armed hold-up definites when possible, and Fat Alice crying a black heart out on the telly. It's getting out of hand. Tell me about it. Bloody crooks don't know they're crooks anymore. They think they're a goddamn political movement. And tell the big girls upstairs to piss off. Thanks for the backup, sir. Watch your step out there. It's getting tricky. What do you have to say for himself? Nothing he'll own up to. Did you get back to jam last night? No, I did not. I wasn't in the mood for another domestic. Anyway, whose bloody side are you on? Too good. Johnny's getting better than he's got the brains for. So is anyone laying on heavily? There's a bit of dough flying around tonight. Got a name? Don't know him. He's a mate of Arnie's. Behind the denim jacket. He's been spreading it. What about my problem, mate? No worries. I'll have a chat to the local CI and see what I can work out. on the wrong side. We're going to talk to him or what? Damn your fluff, that'd be harassment. Jesus. Dave Turner was definitely consorting. Face to face. Ah, it's pretty damn slim. Come on, sir. Dave's Johnny Mercer's brother-in-law, for Christ's sake. 
And he just whacked eight grand clean cash into his bank account. Uh, I don't know. Where'd he get that sort of money? He's a chippy. Chippy with a proper job, betting slips to cover the cash. Never been one scrap of trouble. Not anymore. What did BCI say? Well, the dogs have had him under surveillance for a week, sir. No sign of Johnny, but Fat Alice has dropped in a couple of times. No law against visiting your daughter. There is if you're handing over the proceeds of an armed robbery. Can we hands on Dave Turner or not? Yeah, but you know, Maoris are like, mate, they're all hotheads. <laughs> yeah, look, he's a silly bastard, I know, but look, he's been a big help to us. Yeah, well, if you could take that into account. Yeah? Great, thanks very much. Okay, see ya. Too busy looking the other way. Gotta love looking down the barrel of a shoddy at three in the fucking morning. Level five. Yeah. I think she fancied you. Oh, yeah. Must have. She never spat on you. <laughs> You know what the sample's tested? Mm. Gum powder. He not only doused the bed with petrol, but he poured gum powder on the floor around it just to make sure. That's one way of getting a divorce. The guy is bent. Probably works in this building. Making the application for a warrant to search for evidence, Your Worship, under uh, Section 465 of the Crimes Act. This is very borderline, Sergeant. The uh, informant uh, is present, Your Worship. Yes. I think I'd like to know a little more about how and why you suspect Turner. I don't think personal association with a known criminal is going to be sufficient, particularly in the present climate. How the hell are you supposed to prove that he possessed them before you got a bloody search warrant? You don't. Probability, son. Probability. Golden word. Don't forget it. You dirty devil. What have you been up to here? Hey, it's my anniversary. Oh, and your wife? You can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. She loves me, all right? She not love, me. Noddy. That's a noose, mate. Yeah, leave my boys alone. You read this card, didn't you? Well, yeah, we got knocked back. Dave Turner's off limits until we come up with something else. Yeah, all right. Anything's worth a try. Okay. She's got to go. She's a threat to the moral fibre of the squad. <laughs> no, he can't come up. No, he can't come to the phone either. One of the goons is coming down. Which one? How can you tell? They all drag their knuckles on the ground alike. <laughs> oh. I'll backscan her and see what comes home. It's 2,000 mag. A lot of lead particles. Geez, nice and neat bullet hole. No wonder he did such a thorough job of frying the body. What can I do for you? You got anything for us yet? Not much. Uh, under the circumstances. Eh, uh, one of your offenders might have left a piece of his jacket behind going through the window. Might have's not much good to us. Well, that's the best I can do when I'm last on the scene. You want for sure, get me in first. We can hardly hang him on this, can we? Well, you find the jacket and I'll tell you. It's leather. Still no use to us. We need pointers, something that IDs our men. Go up to fingerprints. This is forensic. It doesn't work like that. I don't care how it works, that's your problem. See what you can do with these. <clears throat> what is it? 
few things we found in the getaway car. Okay, when, when did you get hold of this? Same day. Okay, this is it? Sure there was. How the hell would you people know? Like, you wouldn't recognise half of it. If you want to see the car, it's down in the pound. If you want to know what constitutes forensic evidence, ask me. I am qualified to make that judgment. You're not. Then do it. Ten days later, uh, uh, where's the stuff been? Who's handled it? Me and fingerprints. And oh. it's been in my possession. I'm, I'm getting it third hand. What's, what's the point? I wouldn't know. Find one. What do you think we are down here? Starship Enterprise. Didn't take him long to squawk. He's got reason. Continuity of forensic evidence matters when you get into court. Come on, while you're a lawyer, what matters when you get into court is whether the jury likes his face or not. That sort of cynicism makes us look like yobbos. They wouldn't trust forensic as far as they could pierce, and neither do I. Only a fool trusts what he's not equipped to question. All right, I take your point. But he's a bright boy with a hot track record. CSIRO in the Army. They're bloody good credentials for us. Not when it's the kind of obnoxious prick that's going to get right up the jury's nose. Oh, he's settling in. Give him a little headroom. I can't have forensics lead the investigation. Oh, I should bloody well hope not. That's what he wants in first. We're not having that. Just make better use of him. Get him in early. Let him run with it. You've got nothing to lose. That's what they said to Lindy Chamberlain. That's a bloody cheap shot. Our forensic people had a hand overturning that conviction. You might like to remember that. He's a metallurgist, not a blood man. And he's ten years off being good at that, if ever. Carl, I'm desperate, mate. You got any naughty people for our top ten? Stickers are safe here. Nah, a couple of Supreme Court failed to appear. Apart from that, all I got is a bunch of big girls. Daffy Wilson, there's a wimp. We're talking ten most wanted here, mate. The cream. Top quality creams. Yeah. Yeah, well, let us know, mate. Yeah, see ya. So how'd we go? Bugger all. That bloody goose we're stuck with is going to be no use to us. Dr. Toddy's going to know. Stuff the arteries. Here's to open the car door. Mm -hmm. So if we can... get... the cuts on both ends... And these indentations. Ah. Twenty-two thousand for one day's work. Oh, that's not counting the other two that's supposed to have pulled. Has it occurred to you that we might have joined the wrong end of the business? <sighs> Every time I hear the words police procedure, <laughs> you could drive a bus through most of it. Good. I wouldn't want to get caught. <sighs> oh. He didn't use ordinary pliers. Well, that's obliging of them. Needlepoint from the look of it. And this is the sort of thing we're looking for. Uh G'day, love. It's Dad. Did you? It's good. You made the semi-finals. Now, I would have loved to be there. Yeah, same old story. Yep. 
Is Mum there? Did she? Who'd she go with? No, it's good. No, it's good that Mum gets out. Yeah, tell her I'm here. Yeah. Okay, good night, love. Good night. Something you want to say to me? Yeah. I'm sorry. Wasn't me, I swear. Kids off. Goose wants to see you, boss. Hey, boss. Morning, girls. What? Who's this? Uh, I think it's called a tie, boss. Tie? <laughs> now, that's a uh, homicide tie. Well, might be stuck here for months. Got a bit look as silly as you blokes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Homicide tie, major crime tie. That's it. You blown it. Straight back to arm, Rob. The indentations we made with these. There is sufficient similarity in dimension to say these are the type of pliers they used. So they used needlepoint pliers. So what? Well, they're a specialist tool. I had to go to an electrical wholesaler to get those. Still doesn't tell me anything. Well, they're an electrician's tool. Your man's. Possibly a tradesman. Or he found them, or he borrowed them, or he pinched them. Well, I pinched them, maybe. I mean, tradesmen don't lend their tools or lose them. It's their livelihood. Well, that's all very fascinating. But it doesn't give me any help. Well, when you find him, look for these. And, and something like that. Better still, get me to look. When I find him, thanks, you've been a great help. I'll take those five. Sergeant Peter Faithful, I'm from the uh, from the Major Crime Squad. This is Inspector Brennan. Right. I was just wondering if we could have a bit of a chat to you. Yeah, what about? Oh, you've been tackling the old stumps, eh? Yeah, doing the whole thing. Good. Hey, sure. A few of the blokes use them. You gotta pay them yourself. Would a chippy have any use for them? Yeah, when you're doing up the old place, you know, sometimes you get rusted nail heads and uh, you've got to dig them out, you know? I understand you've got a Dave Turner working for you. Yeah. To your knowledge, would he have ever used a pair of these? Dave. What? It's in his best interest that we can establish this. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. You sure of that? Dave's got them too, yeah. Well, that clears out. Look, yeah. Uh... Thank you very much. OK, thank you. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd keep this to yourself for a bit. So you re-blocked her, eh? Yeah, mate, the whole works. Uh, we're going to do that in a minute. We've got someone trying to talk us into red gum. What do you reckon? Red gum? Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch it. Look at that. Yeah. The way they dress timber these days, concrete's the gate. That's what I reckon. As a matter of fact, a little business card for you, huh? Oh. <laughs> 
We're going for it. Get the goose up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's my best, mate, to tell you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a prize to the red gum, Yeah, well, you be careful, mate. Italians like to concrete everything. <laughs> yeah, g'day. It's Peter Faithful here from the Majors. Yeah, listen, well, where's Turner now? Yeah, well, it looks like we're doing it, so uh, if you can keep us informed about his movements. Yeah, and listen, anyone else who might be home, OK? <laughs> yeah, back to me on 774. And your name? Perfect. Thanks, mate. See ya. Can't say they're the same pliers. They're not. Same type. General type. This has no scientific basis until you turn up the actual pliers used. We're running out of time if we're going in tonight. We need a piece of paper with it spelled out in words of one syllable. We've got to convince the magistrate, mate, not confuse him. Well, symbol is the best I can do. Anything else is crap. The individual's been identified as being in possession of an identical pair of pliers, Your Worship. How good's this information? His employer, a Mr. Bruno Rosano, positively identified the pliers from a sample pair given to us by Forensic, Your Worship. So this is the kids' room, and this is where they'll be. So when you come through that door, John, you'll be looking at double bunks on the left-hand wall. You'll evacuate the kids to the living room here. Wills, you and me will be taking the main bedroom here. You escort the mother straight across to look after the kids. Now, we don't want her having any chance of communicating with Dave once we're in. We isolate him immediately. Then we shoot him. <laughs> OK, any questions? I'd have a full suit. Those kids could turn vicious. We're well, looking for firearms. Remember, let's not get careless. Uh, okay. Go, 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 go! Come on! Police! Come on, come on. Police! Put your hands up! Get out of bed! Come with me! Come on! Move the out of the bed! Johnny! Get out of the Johnny, you got two seconds to get up or we shoot now. Come on! Bang! Ah. Ah. Come on, ah. come on, ah. come on, ah. come on, 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 Hard up against the wall. Come on, get it. That's it. Can you head that way? That's the boy. Lollies. There you go. What a bloody idiot. Wouldn't you think he would have stashed himself away somewhere safe? Putting up pressure on them, they lose friends very rapidly. That's not ours. Theirs. Yeah? Your threat wasn't. Any sign of our guns? No. Ooh. <laughs> You're gone anyway. You might as well make a statement. Good stuff, Brennan. I ain't got nothing to say to you. We got all the time in the world, shit, Ed. You think about that. Wouldn't matter what I said. You got it in for me anyway. You in for half what you done, sport. Don't kid yourself. Yeah. You're gonna try and fit me out for a few other things too, aren't you? Who's writing your lines for you, Johnny? You know what I mean. Yeah, but I don't believe I'm hearing it. Fit you up. This is a major's, not tick crime territory. You know better than that, even if that lefty legal service you're having on doesn't. Record of interview between Inspector Jock Gordon Brennan and John Mercer at Major Crime Squad offices on the 26th of May. Detective Andrew Saunders also present. The time is 4.17 a.m. Is your full and correct name John Arthur Mercer? Yeah. State your date of birth. 26th, the 8th, 58. State your occupation. I'm unemployed. What is your address? Me mum's. Is that 25 Harold Street, Richmond? Yeah. That's all you're getting. From here on, it's no comment. I intend to ask you some questions in relation to an armed holdup committed on the Nimrod Enterprises factory on the 12th of this month. Before I do, I'm required to inform you that you do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be given in evidence. You want coffee? Yeah. 
Tape stopped at 4.32 a.m. for coffee. How do you have it? Black, no sugar. I'll have one too. Yeah. You're going to have to say something sooner or later. We can't just sit here and stare at each other for six hours. I could get very bored. Look, we both know the score. He's your brother-in-law, of course you can't turn him out. But look at the shit you're in, mate. And it's not even you we want. It's him. Now, what's the point of you going down to? He hasn't got a wife and kids to support, has he? Hmm? He's tight as a fish's. But a shithead's gonna try and walk. Well, someone's giving him hope. He's usually talking his tits off by now. Well, Dave won't cross the family. Hasn't got the guts. I'm not so sure. What? Well, I think he's calling the shots. Over Johnny? Hmm. Well, someone's using his friggin' head and Johnny ain't got one. Yeah, well, get in there and shake the bastard loose. We're running out of time. I'm disappointed in you. I never thought to see you in here. I don't know why I am. I thought you had enough sense to stay away from the family business. You know I've got nothing to do with any of that. Well, that's not strictly true, is it, anymore? What the fuck could I do? He turned up on the bloody doorstep. I told her I didn't want him there, but it's her house too, you know. I've got to hand it to you. Most crooks kick off with a few car thefts, the odd burglary. They work their way up. Not you, you jump straight into the big time. What are you talking about? Not many try an armed hold up as their first offence. <laughs> Jesus, you've got to be joking. No. Don't look at me. Ask Johnny's bloody brother about it. I did. STD. Didn't Alice tell you when he's in the remand yard at Long Bay? It's been there a couple of months. Look, I don't know about any of this. Neither does he. But we both know that he's not lying, don't we, Mr. Turner? We're out of time, sir. That's it. Any point in going for an extension? No, he's not going to file it. He made up his mind the minute he came in here. Peter, what is it? Johnny already said he won't agree to it. So, you charge him or do they walk? Charge him. What do you think of Turner? He's good. Hardly makes any slips. I it. I almost believed in myself. No bloody guns, no masks. We could have done with a few admissions. Yeah, I don't even like to think that I'll need help from that goose in forensic. I hope to Christ you can make this stand up. Well, where was my called out of the house then? On a raid? You're a public servant, not a cop. Don't you understand plain English? I need to get in there. Don't you understand the law? It means another warrant. Did you tell him to look for offcuts? What offcuts?
The silly prick thinks he's got it sewn up. He's got no idea. Oh, hasn't he been to court for homicide yet? Adjourned. Oh, I thought they would have broken him in. No. He's a gold-plated virgin that thinks it's all true just because he says so. Well, you'll have to get him into shape, won't you? Ah, oh, Christ. OK, we've got fragments of glass. Uh, here's embedded in the head of the sledgehammer, which have the same Hang chemical composition. Glass stuck in steel. Yeah, and it's got the same chemical composition. Look, even if that were possible, can you identify the glass as being the same as that in the factory window? Nope, of course not. Or what use is it? The sledgehammer might have easily dropped on a Coke bottle and you can be damn sure that's what he'll say. Now look, will you listen to me? The glass fragments have the same chemical composition, the same refractive index, the same optical characteristics as the glass from our window. It's toughened glass. What does that mean in plain English? Well, it's not the sort of glass they use in bottles or your average window. What is it used for? Security. It's impact resistant. In comic book parlance, bulletproof glass. Well, why didn't you say so? You mean to explain it for morons, dear. The jury system being what it is. Trouble with you is you treat forensic like a male older bride, something you send for in the post when you get desperate. Bullshit. I'm a realist. If I don't understand it, the jury won't. God's sake, don't go wandering off again. You never know when we'll be called. Cool. Needed a pee. Yeah, all right, uh, we'll probably whack you on after lunch. And I think we'll drop some of this stuff on the energy dispersal x-ray tests. But that's the basis of the findings on the glass fragments. I don't think we need them. I like these. Precisely how do the class characteristics enable you to identify the exact pair of pliers on these cuts? No blades ever close completely evenly. On, on, on microscopic inspection, uh, there's always small gaps. Are these unique to every blade? Yes, the unique characteristics are small defects in the cutting edge. And these can only be found on that one set of pliers? Yes. Uh, these defects can only be produced by damage. Uh, the, the sort of normal wear and tear that comes from using them. Obviously, that'll never be exactly the same on different tools. And you are able to reproduce these defects using this pair of pliers found in the defendant's home? Yes. Uh, we conducted test cuts on similar wire. And um, as you can see, the marks on the cut surface coincide exactly with the Cuts on the exhibit found in the car. Thank you, Mr. Cochran. That's all, Your Honour. <clears throat> Mr. Cochran, if I can refer you to the microphoto evidence uh, for the benefit of the jury. In terms of nuclear atomic theory and thermodynamics, can you explain the operation of the scanning electron microscope? No. I beg your pardon? In the terms you've just described, I can't. Um, are you asking how it works? Yes. Do you want the long or the short version? The precise version will do fine, Mr Cochran. The operation of the uh, SEM uh, begins with power coming into a power source and increasing the voltage to 20 kilovolts. This... Uh, heats a tungsten filament, which produces an electron beam. At this point, we... Can I take you back to the glass fragments? Found embedded in the steel head of the sledgehammer? That would require the most extraordinary force, surely? Not necessarily. Uh, it would depend on the um, nature and the angle of the impact, you see. Uh, imagine, uh, if you can... Uh, then how is it the independent forensic tests conducted by Mr Howard show marked differences between the cuts obtained from the defendant's pliers and the exhibit found in the car? 
Probably because he conducted his tests on a lead compound wire rather than a steel wire similar to the exhibit. Aren't we getting into sci-fi Disneyland here, Mr Cochrane? That would hardly account for the marked differences. It most certainly would. It's a softer metal. That distorts the cut. I put it to you, Mr Cochrane. The only distortions taking place here are yours. Absolutely not. I put it to you that your evidence is simply designed to support the prosecution's case without any regard for scientific fact. I deny that emphatically. Mr Cochran, do you ever drink with the police? Yeah, well, occasionally. I also have a drink with the odd bloody lawyer, too. Mr Cochran, confine yourself to the evidence, please. What do you mean it's his privilege? The fence has open go. We all have to wear it. Like hell. Where are you going? Oh, I've got a thing or two to say to him. Don't be bloody silly. Not a bad win. I think we deserve that. Well done. I like that little spot you got in. Yeah, drink with lawyers. <laughs> it's funny. But don't ever do it again. He had to go you. You were scoring too many points. He questioned my integrity. They always do that when they're losing. Nothing personal. Bullshit it isn't. It's bloody personal. I've seen rape victims handle it better. <laughs> he nearly blew it. Well, then, Kaiser, he didn't. Well, this'll keep a few heads down out there for a while. Yeah, but you're about as popular as a turd in the punch with Fat Alice there. Well, call the touch of class. Boss. <laughs> We've got to let him go, boys. He can't get the tie, right? Yeah, Straight back to armed robbers. What do you reckon? Well, we're not going to let him go sober, are we? No way. Good, get me one. So I'd lose you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. How'd this get in? Courier. That's great, your divorce papers lobbed on your work. Last act of revenge. Ah, uh, maybe. Or maybe she just didn't want you to come home at midnight and find him in the letterbox. Who cares what they think? It worked. Yeah. That almost pisses me off. Mm. Not just a pretty face. Mm. Don't you dare oh. start calling me mum. I hate that. I can't believe you cooked. Neither can I. Don't get used to it. Another fun night of rape and pillage, Trog? Haven't you told her? She knows it all. Pity. Now we have to kill her. Level five. Hope you got the right address. <laughs> if a kid's got any sense, it'll stay there and never come out. <laughs> Will, you paid? You asked me yesterday, Lockie, I thought oh, I can't go. Right. Hey, boss. Your tickets. Okay. Can I get a time with you? Not a problem, Will. You paid? Yeah, yeah I'm you done. got yours? Good night. See you later. See you tomorrow, mate. Bye, boss. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. to do that to you. Okay, I'll tell him. Look, his mum there. Jan. 
Yeah, well, I just, uh, I, I got a couple of tickets for the Christmas bash, you know. Well, uh, you doing anything tomorrow night? Well, you know everyone, you might like to catch up. Oh. Okay. Nice. No. Oh, yeah, I'll see you later. Okay. Sort your differences out. 